Hello, ghost hunters. Did you know the curse possession, the tarot cards, can do this? Stick around to see what else you can do with these cards. The tarot cards are one of six curse possessions. One curse possession is guaranteed to appear in every location. The tarot cards can be found in each location as seen here. Each deck of tarot cards contains 10 cards at random. This means that each time you pick up the deck, there is no way to tell what you will be drawing next. For those of you who play in VR, this has been quite buggy. To draw a card, you must pick up the cards in one hand and then draw a card with the other hand. You can draw cards by placing the cards on a surface and then drawing from it. If this is not working for you, I have a couple of tips to help you get it working. First, only use the cards in the ghost room. If you are not in VR, you can use the cards anywhere, but for VR, for best results, use them in the ghost room. Second, you may need to adjust your VR settings, especially if you are using an index. Specifically, you will want to change the grab type to hold and the grip type to touch. You may have to adjust your VR settings more to get this to work properly. If you have tips for other VR players, please post them in the comments below. Players should also remember to take a photo of the cursed possession before using the cards as they do disappear once all 10 cards have been drawn. The most common card is the tower. It has a 20% chance of being drawn and causes the ghost to interact with items. For players to witness this interaction, you must be near the ghost, as it will not happen near the player if they are outside of the haunting area. With this past update, the tower card can also make the ghost interact with the dots projector and the ghost writing book, if the ghost has this as evidence. When used, this card will burn blue. The Wheel of Fortune card also has a 20% chance of being drawn. When drawn, this card will either grant if the card burns green or deduct if the card burns red, 25% sanity from the player. The full card will appear as another card when drawn and then turn into the full card as it burns. This card works like a void card and no effect is applied to the player or the ghost. It has a 17% chance of being drawn, but a 100% chance if players draw cards during an active hunt. Because of this, players should not draw cards during a hunt. When used, this card will burn pink. The Hermit card provides some protection to players by teleporting the ghost back to its room and then trapping it there for one minute. This card has a 10% chance of being drawn. When used, this card burns light blue. The Death card has a 10% chance of being drawn. It burns purple when used and triggers a cursed hunt. The Devil card has a 10% chance of being drawn and triggers a ghost event. The player does not need to be in the haunting area for this ghost event to happen. When drawn, it burns a light red color. The Sun card has a 5% chance of being drawn and fully restores the player's sanity to 100%. When drawn, this card burns yellow. The Moon card has a 5% chance of being drawn and drops the player's sanity to 0%. When drawn, this card burns white. The High Priestess card has a 2% chance of being drawn. This card will revive a dead player at their body. If the player has wandered away from their death location, when being revived, they will be teleported to the location of their death. They will not respawn with the items they had at death and will need to either pick them up if teammates have not moved their items or retrieve new items from the van. With the last update, developers changed this card to provide a revive for the next player who dies if no players are dead when the card is drawn. This works in solo play as well as multiplayer. This card was misspelled upon release and has since been corrected. This card also burns yellow when used. The Hanged Man has a 1% chance of spawning, does not burn any color, and immediately kills the player. This card does not start a hunt, so no other players are in danger should a player draw this card. Players should keep in mind that cards that affect player sanity will only affect the player drawing the cards. Now that you know what the cards do, how are they useful in your hunts? These cards can be used in a variety of ways, although there is no certainty on what you're going to draw, so there's no guarantee using them will fulfill the objectives or give the evidence you are trying to elicit. I personally have used the cards to drop sanity, get a photo of the ghost, witness a ghost event, and to escape the ghost during a hunt. 
With this last update, you can also use the cards to hopefully get your ghost to interact with the dots projector or your ghost writing book if you're waiting for those two evidences. If you use the cards to complete objectives, let me know what you use them for in the comments. It is also possible to glitch the tarot cards, although this is not advised. While it certainly can make for some interesting moments, in my experience, one player loses the ability to use their hands. And while they can draw numerous cards, never running out, they ultimately will likely die as they cannot open or close doors, use equipment, and they never run out of cards. At least until they draw the hanged man. Is there one card you like more than the others? Are you more likely to pick them up to raise your sanity or revive a dead teammate? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And as always, happy hunting.